guys. Welcome. I'm Jen Burst, and I'm the founder and president of Generation PR. We are a full-service PR and social media management, content creation, agency, influencer, engagement agency, firm. Uh, and we specialize in promoting baby and kids, beauty and cosmetics, and health and wellness. I am going to jump right into our topic today about media monitoring. We will sometimes pitch on a Harrow query, or we will send a pitch to an editor and it's very complete and has everything they need. And they sometimes just don't even get back to you. But then the Google alert or the media alert monitoring that you have set up will just ping. And there there you know, there's a, a mention that you secured that you didn't even know was going to come because nobody got back to you. <laughs> so it's always weird. And we always want to catch those. And you want to see it before the client does so that you can present it to them and show them so they're aware that it came from your pitching and your efforts. And it's not just like a lucky organic placement because you want credit for that, right? Like you want to make sure they know that that was you. And we want to talk about media monitoring and why it is so crucial. PR is our goal for Earn Media is to get our clients out there, get their message out there, you know, great brand awareness, all the things that we know our clients are looking for. And we want all of our placements and the features we're getting to align with the strategy that we've put in place to help um, our clients achieve their goals and objectives. So they come to us and they say, here's what we're looking to do, or we, we're, we're launching a product or a brand. We want visibility. We um, want some uh, exposure for the founders of the company, whatever it is, you know, and you come up with a strategy and you want the features you're getting to align with that approach and positive sentiment. So keep the client positioned in the best light possible. And so... The best way to sort of track, like, are we successful? Is this actually working? The most effective way to show clients that, you know, yes, we are, it's all working, right? KPIs, whatever you guys establish, you, you want to do media monitoring to ensure that you are successful. Sophisticated media monitoring will help analyze all of your clients' media mentions, understand how they're faring with the media. Um, and I know it sounds kind of intimidating because you're like, all the media out there, like, what if I miss stuff? Or what if, you know, there's things I don't know about, or they see it before I do, like I mentioned, or, you know, it's a lot to sort of weed and wade through. But there are easier ways to do it. There are tools out there. So we're going to dive into the ins and outs and talk about why media monitoring is important, what even is it, and how you can make sure that you never miss a mention or a media insight again. So first and foremost, what is it? It's just that media monitoring is uh, keeping an eye on all the different media. So media, obviously plural for medium, medium is one, <laughs> uh, media, plural. So it's all of the things, radio, podcast, TV, print, digital, influencer, social, all of the various places that could be discussing your client, tracking where and what, what are they saying about your client? And you can also use media monitoring to track your niche as a whole, which is really cool because you can see what the competitors are up to, not just looking at their social and seeing what they're posting or looking at their press page, but seeing what the media is truly saying about your client's competitors, um, the whole niche. So monitoring uh, trends industry wide that you can keep up on to be top of your game as you represent your clients and other topics of interest, like um, if there's some technology your client is considering using and you want to, or you're considering using, you know, you want to see like, what do people think of this right now? Is this worth the investment? Um, you know, should I be looking into this or thinking of something else? Like media monitoring will show what the sentiment and the news is that's out there. So 
it used to mean back when I, back in my day, when we first got started, I spent a lot of time at the newsstand and we would physically flip through publications and look at newspapers, look at actual magazines. Um, maybe we would cut out those articles or the excerpts of the articles that talked about the client. We pasted them in a book that I would then scan and provide to clients. Um, that's how we used to do it. And now with so many digital outlets, uh, you know, we're keeping track of digital, obviously a lot easier to find. I love the idea of tracking your niche as a whole, tracking your competitors. And now with digital mentions, you can check online publications, social media, blogs, podcasts, influencer posts, radio, all of the sort of digital non-tangible um, features. And what I love actually, so I'm, a, I'm an ambassador for Prowley, love, love, love Prowley. They can, um, they and other online software tools can do this for you. And it will save you tons and tons of time, especially if you are managing a lot of clients and man monitoring a lot of different things. It's so valuable. Media monitoring is not just collecting your clients' mentions and then just moving on. Truly effective media monitoring will include some kind of data and analysis of that mention too. So if you're reading it at, or you're listening to a mention, you will carefully see not just what was said, but the feeling behind it, you know, the sentiment. What's the general tone? Is it positive for your brand or negative for your client's brand? Were there any specific criticisms offered? Um, we have clients that have had overall very positive, sometimes their physical product reviews will have pros and cons, which is really great because it gives our client insight into what professional testers feel about certain um, key features of their product. But it also shows the overall sentiment for the brand in the media. And this is also really important for those mentions that you didn't secure. Like maybe there's a customer social media post or an influencer mention. Um, we just saw an influencer mention for my client with the breast pump and the person that was reviewing it, her complaint was really not about the client's actual product, but the type of breast pump and all of the brands as a whole that have that type of breast pump. It's like one of those wearables and she was a breastfeeding lactation consultant, but she used our client's new launch to talk about how much she dislikes that type of product in the first place. We thought that that was very um, important for our client to see. And when you start to analyze more and more of these various mentions, you get a better sense of the general consensus about your client. Um, you know, you can adjust your strategies accordingly. So she gave a lot of um, insight into why she doesn't like it. And we can then take that information and say, okay, maybe that's valid for the category as a whole, but how do we do it better? And point that out. Um, so even though it was really negative, it wasn't negative specifically for the product or the company. It was negative for that entire category. And there are ways we can take that negative sentiment and flip it to show our client in a more positive light. So that's very insightful, right? And that came up in media monitoring. So why is media monitoring important? Um, number one is it'll let you spot PR problems before they turn into crises. So it could be a negative review. You know, it happens. Negative reviews for client uh, customers are very, very common. It happens, you know, here and there. And your clients should have a process for quickly addressing them. But if there are a slew of negative reviews all at once, something might be up. And when that happens, you can dig into each mention and figure out exactly what's going on, you know, start building a strategy right away, and you can help your clients. And this is how a crisis comms team would jump in quickly and help the client mitigate any damage that this negativity will do 
to your client's brand and can possibly prevent a full-blown crisis before it happens. Um, This is where you're stepping in to be proactive versus just reactive. Like this is coming at us and like now we're, you know, putting out fires everywhere. So close media monitoring will give you and your client a bit of buffer time to really dig into the issue and thoughtfully compose a response that shows that they are taking accountability, um, you know, that they're handling it, what they're doing. So it's like owning the challenge or whatever the problem is that everyone's experiencing and proactively coming out and saying, here's what we are going to do. We've got you like customer safety, utmost importance or um, behavior of our of our team or somebody posting something on social. So your findings from this blip, this negative, like what's going on, can really help inform your strategies going forward too. So you're gonna know like what warning signs pop up. Maybe there's another little mini crisis that you're like, okay, we're ready, we've got a plan or we know how our values as a company dictate that we are going to step in and handle this. Um, And you can see what the client's audience wants to see from them. So this is an opportunity to take a really potentially negative situation and turn it into a positive where someone will say, you know what, that thing that happened was horrible or I don't like it or it's not what I would expect from this company, but the way they handled it made me love them even more. And we've all had things like this with companies, brands we love. Um, And we've seen companies handle things very well. And you go, wow, that really sucked. But like, I love how they came and stepped in full ownership, full responsibility and had a plan in place that seemed like the right thing to do. That's where product recalls come in, things like that. But um, and you can make sure that you're putting something out that aligns with your client's audience and what they want to see from them. And they'll continue to shop with their values and support this brand. And you can help them do that. So um, number two, why media monitoring is really important is because you're going to know if your strategies are effective. It's especially important after a big campaign um, or like a really big feature like tracking that mention, learning in real time how customers, how their audience is reacting. And if that strategy, your campaign had its intended effect. So if one specific post is really working, clients can see, wow, that influencer really has alignment with like our ideal audience, whatever she says they buy, we wanna work with her more because she's moving the needle. We can see that she's um, really uh, getting them to take action. It's not just like a feature or mention, but truly one where the audience's response is a call to action and then they do it. So you can focus more on that the next time around. And then on the flip side, if you start doing a whole bunch of things um, and you're tracking and there's not a lot happening and you can see it's not working for your client's audience, then that's something you're going to avoid in the future. Um, So it could also help you... um, understand the ins and outs of your client's audience, what they're engaging with, responding to, what resonates with them, how do they interact with your clients online and in real life? You know, what is that um, sentiment and the connection? And it goes double if you track your client's competitors as well. So there's likely a major audience overlap. And what works for the competitor's audience may also work for your client's audience. And it's not saying you're gonna do exactly the same things that their competitors are doing, but you can gain insight and say, okay, um, they're getting featured in these kinds of publications and we can position our client to be the right fit for that publication too. But it's gonna be different, but um, the sentiment is good, the engagement was really good, so we should probably try to work our way in there too. And effective media monitoring lets you hone in on the good to just 
figure out the not so good and discard it and continuously increase each client's uh, campaign's impact. So you're, you're, you're testing sentiment and you're testing what moves the needle and uh, using those insights to make you better. Um, and then it can also lead to new media contacts, which we obviously love, always cultivating relationships with the media. And before this media monitoring software, there's many that do it, there was a risk that you missed some mentions, whether you weren't looking in the right places or maybe they weren't mentions that you secured. But when we use Prowly, um, it's so advanced that that's not an issue because it'll catch mentions on channels that maybe you overlooked, uh, maybe you previously weren't looking at it, and it can find those uh, features that didn't pop up on your radar for whatever reason. It can find shout outs from micro influencers that weren't on your radar, and that can show we're doing things where um, because our influencers are not always posting the name of the brand. So we're actually paying somebody to every 24 hours, look at all the influencers that we have seated. And there's not a lot, I mean 20, but it's a lot of accounts to watch. And um, that's if they're not mentioning by name, we're looking at the visuals of the pictures, but if they tag a brand, if they mention it, um, it will catch those mentions that maybe you would have missed and the most important side effect of this is that um, it'll catch maybe some media contacts that are not already, like there are players in the space that aren't already in your database. And it can lead to somebody that already is a fan or already is aware of your client's products. Maybe they should know about a new launch. Now they're on your radar and or, or they're covering your client's competition and you're thinking, I should know that contact too. Um, maybe they regularly cover this space, but they haven't featured your client yet. That is somebody you need to know about and you would find them through media monitoring. Um, or you can find a blogger or influencer who's not a major fan of your client and slowly work to change that sentiment. Like that, you know, breast pump uh, specialist, the, the lactation consultant who doesn't like the wearables category, we can reach out to her and say, you know, really appreciate the um, great feedback, the good, bad, and ugly. Um, and I'd like to address some pieces of it that actually, you know, are addressed in the product itself and the rest we're going to take back to the brand so they really understand it. True experts take an insight into what would improve. You know, they're always looking to improve. They've taken their best products and they've come out with newly redesigned and they're making their features more user friendly. We'll take your expertise back to the brand. And now she's like, oh, you know, brand's got our ear. Like that's a way that you can stick with these people, change the sentiment, which they'll then pass on to their audience, to their readers or their followers on social. Um, that's why people follow, you know, they want that expertise. Uh, okay, and then if we're going to talk about tools for using um, media monitoring tools that will help you with some sophisticated reporting and things for your clients that, you know, will help you stay top of your game. Um, you know, Google Alerts. There's also um, Talkwalker, which I think is an Australian company. They seem to catch more than Google Alerts does. Um Let's talk about Prowly because, like I said, we're really checked into it and uh, we're really all in on it because there's so many, so many, so many things that it does. But this is one thing that they do also very, very well that's part of the platform. So the first thing is, you know, Prowly or Meltwater, Scission, Muckrack, use a digital tool and um, all of these PR software platforms have this monitoring tool. Like I said, we use Prowly. Uh, and this will take the hassle out of the entire process. Like they'll catch those missed mentions, analyze the mention sentiment. Clients will say that, um, and you're like, it's all, po I mean, for us, it's always all positive for the most part, but there might be bigger companies that you're representing. Maybe they're a public company or they're looking to sell and you can see sentiment has trended negative and work to change that sentiment through 
a strategic media outreach campaign. And so it's going to help you demonstrate trends that you can catch and work your way into early. And uh, again, it'll um, uh, give you also like an estimate of the reach. So what is the client's total reach aggregating all of the mentions in a certain time period? You start in there by creating an alert. So you can set up an alert for your client's brand name, maybe the name of a specific product or a service that they offer, or some what of a more generic search term that could be connected to their brand or product, but also might catch some competitor data in there just to see overall topic sentiment and what are people talking about when it comes to that topic. And uh, you probably should spend a little bit of time doing some keyword research and figuring out like search volume, search terms, things that people are looking for that they want to know about. You know what their uh, shoppers tend to search for in order to find those products um, or what competitors are their closest competitors and see where they're being featured in just industry trends as a whole. So it's important to set up those keyword searches and competitor research there so that it's not merging in to the metrics that I'm tracking for the brand itself. It's just other information that it's pulling in so that I don't have to be searching all the time. And I'm telling you, Google is not catching all this stuff. So, uh, and then number three, you've got to let that software do its job and you get these alerts set up. It takes a little bit of time, but not much. Um, and you start to see what it can do. And then you're like, you know what would be really interesting to know? Um, this direct competitor that launched a product a week ago, similar to the one that we're coming out with in a month, I want to see what their launch reporting looks like. And you can see all of that. So your alert is set up. Prowly is going to start monitoring the media for any mention of that phrase. So again, it could be your competitors. And as the mentions come in, they will go into that dashboard and you can click through them, get those insights that Prowly can pull um, the feature sentiment, the reach, the outlets rank, all of those things. And, you know, like it'll just continue to kind of build on that list depending on the time period that you pick. So you can choose anything from the last month, you know, when you do your reporting um, or the last year, if you want to do an end of year report. And each alert has its own dashboard inside of Prowly where you can see the combined analysis of all of those mentions. So the dashboard, which I love, is so customizable for what's important to the client and adding those widgets so you can show those most important stats to your client, get a screen grab or download a report, um, however you want to present it to them. But now you're adding some insight in sophistication and catching things early and able to glean those insights so you can do an end of month report and send off all the results you got and show them and go a step further and say, what does it say about the work you're doing for the client? Are you aligning with the goals of the campaign? Are you reaching the target um, customer at, at those publications? And in what volume? Um, what is the overall sentiment or what are their competitors doing that you can gain some insight and adapt that for your own strategy. You can show them that stuff. And when you do stuff like this, because clients don't have access to be able to do it in as complete and sophisticated a way that you can with a tool like Prowly or whatever, you know, Muckrack or Meltwater Scission. And this data is also really helpful if you are having a slow month. If something is not landing, you can use all of this to say, here's what we tried. And it worked okay, but it's not the results we were expecting. We went into our dashboard and pulled some keyword research, competitor research, and what we're seeing is they're leaning into this aspect of the competitor's product. So we're gonna use that and retool our pitch so that we can hit that point and show how we're doing it better or how ours performs better or how ours is more effective at a lower price point. You know, whatever insights you can glean, that is the power of media monitoring and use it 
to make you better and indispensable and a total uh, partner to your clients where they just can never imagine life without you. Um, That's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys next week. Take care.